everybody. We're here. Look at who that is. Matt, you know, I rarely get a chance to talk to you. I always enjoy when we have a chance to spend any little time together. But, of course, you're a fascinating person. Everybody tells me you're just a lovely guy. The more you get to know you, the more you're going to love Matt Damon. And I was hoping, if you, if you wouldn't mind, I would like to give you something that, called the Colbert Questionnaire. And Fantastic. what the Colbert Questionnaire does, for those who don't know, the Colbert Questionnaire, are, there are 15 questions that have been calibrated to penetrate straight to the soul of a person and open them up for the world so they are fully known. Are you prepared to be fully known, Matt Dean? I am prepared to Brave be man. fully right. known. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the first question of the Colbert Questionnaire for Matt Damon. Matt Damon, what is the best sandwich? Uh, I, so there was a sandwich, this place called Bay City Deli in L.A. that had made a sandwich, makes a sandwich called The Godmother. What was your first concert that you went to? So that would be, my mom, I think, took my brother and me to see Holly Near when we were in, and Holly Near, this is very kind of hippie stuff. <laughs> um, you know, she would, we would sing, then the audience would sing along like, we are an anti-nuclear people. <laughs> And we are singing, singing for our lives, you know. So Rock that, and roll. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it was very, uh, very, wow. very folk. How old were you with this? I was probably seven. That's yeah. lovely. Yeah. That's lovely. What is the scariest animal? I went, I went shark diving like 15 years ago in South Africa, and I'd say... That's the big show. Those are the great, great whites. White, yeah, a great wow. white shark, I'd say, is something I would never want to see they come unless I'm cage? in a cage. They'd oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And they are just so much bigger than you think. Why? Um, are you overawed by the beauty of them, or are you just like, please get me out of this cage? Just, it, no, no, no. Over, like, completely in awe of how beautiful they are, but completely aware of how ridiculously lethal they are. And, and they're, they're perfectly camouflaged in that water. You know, they, 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 like a five meter shark will just be next to you before you even see it. It does help you realize you don't have a chance if that, if you, <laughs> you know. And if you see them breach, like the, the power with which yeah. they, I mean, they are death machines. Yeah. I'm, you convinced me. <laughs> Apples or oranges? Apples. <laughs> Have Can you, you imagine if I'd said oranges? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever asked someone for their autograph? Yes. Uh, when I was a kid, Marvelous Marvin Hagler came to our local arcade, and I got autographs for, uh, for my brother and for me. Do you still have it? Uh, no, nah, I don't think so. I think that was 1980, 81, or something like that. So, uh, a long time ago. Uh, what do you think happens when we die? I, I think we go home. Leave it there. All right. This is a tough one. Favorite action movie? It is a tough one. Because um, there are some great ones. But, you, but I think a movie, a movie that I actually... I had recently made it into the Academy, and, uh, I got, and I actually voted for it for Best Picture was The Matrix. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Window or aisle? Window. Just yeah. love the view? Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about having to get up and go to the bathroom and upsetting the person next to you? It's usually my wife next to me. So <laughs> <laughs> that, that horrible thing where you're like, sorry, I just yeah, got exactly. it. Exactly. You know. Favorite smell? Uh, like coffee mixed with bacon in the morning. <laughs> Like literally coffee mixed with bacon no. or the smell of coffee Both mixed with bacon? Both things are happening because okay, right. it means, it usually means that, that we're on vacation. I don't usually eat breakfast, so if I'm sleeping in late enough that somebody's already up making coffee and bacon, then I know it's like a holiday or something. That's fantastic. Least favorite smell? I worked in, at the time, the second largest dump on planet Earth, which was at the time in Mexico, and we shot this movie Elysium. We were there for a, a little over a week. And I smelled things there that I did not, it was not just, gar it was like. Pooh River. Pooh River. Right. Yes. yes. Yeah. There was actually a location that we just called Pooh River. First time I ever interviewed you when I was stuck underneath uh, a vending we machine. We talked about, that's you right. You mentioned oh my Pooh God. River. Which is still one of my favorite bits of all time. Mine too. You, Mine too. You, ble you bleeding out. Yeah, thank while you for saving to... me. <laughs> Look it up, comedycentral.com. All right. Earliest memory. I, I remember my crib. 
I, I remember my crib and, well, here's a, here's a crazy thing. I mean, maybe you can cut this out for time if you want, but this is kind of an amazing thing that happened to me um, after my father passed away uh, in 2017. About, a, a, within, within that year, I had this crazy, this, this dream. He came to me in a dream and, um, and he embraced me. And the feeling that I got was the feeling that I had, which I think is like my first memory, which was the feeling of what it felt like to be held by him. And it was a feeling of such overwhelming protection and love, and it was pre-verbal, right? So I couldn't even, I can't even explain what it felt like. All I knew was that he was there and that I was feeling that embrace. And it reminded me that I must have felt that as one of the very first things I was aware of as my kind of consciousness came online. That was beautiful. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Cats or dogs? I have both. <laughs> if you had to pick. I mean, I've got four dogs and one cat. <laughs> so... <laughs> But can I tell you a quick story about the cat? Of course. I, I mean, I, it doesn't even have to be quick. Okay. The camera's turned off a long time ago. <laughs> I, don't, I don't blame you. All right. But this cat, so we adopted this cat in Costa Rica about 10 years ago. He was living by himself in the jungle. He was the coolest cat you've ever seen. I mean, he was, he was hunting. He had two giant holes in his side. He was fighting for his life every night. And we're staying at this Airbnb, and we start feeding the cat. And we were there for a month, and so by the end, we... We had to take the cat. We were like, this guy's going to die. Now he's relying on us. He, he moves into our house. I think he's, I had a little yard in LA. But he'll be great out there. He never went outside ever again. <laughs> Cut to the cat ends up with a brain, t a brain tumor. And that's no, okay. <laughs> he, we take him to the, you know, we get him radiation. We take him, you know, he's the toughest jungle cat. He's not going to, I'm not going to let a, a brain tumor take this cat out. Eventually, we, he's, he, we moved to New York, and the cat's lost a lot of weight, and he's only walking in left circles. And I take him to the animal hospital here, and I meet the cat neurologist. <laughs> this is true. The dude's name is Chad. <laughs> <laughs> and Chad goes, look, you know, at a certain point, you have to have this conversation with your children because being part of a pet owner is, you know, be, part of doing that is, is, you know, giving them their dignity, and this cat doesn't really have a quality of life anymore. And I said, I agree. Uh, I'm going to have that conversation. I'm going to bring him back in three weeks, and if he's not, better. And Chad said, I could, I could load him up on steroids. <laughs> and I go, what do you mean? He goes, I mean, I could give him, like, like a bunch of steroids. <laughs> and I go, are there long-term issues with that? And he goes, yeah. <laughs> Massive long-term issues with that. But yeah. like, we can just see what happens. <laughs> that was two and a half years ago. Wow. Yeah. And now he's Jack. Now he's Jack. And I joke that he's like, he's like, he, he's like Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's like, good morning. He's like got muscles on muscles, you know what I mean? He looks great. He looks great. So wow. that's my, that was my cat story. Sorry. Oh, that was lovely. That's nice. Still with us. You only get, you only get one song to listen to for the rest of your life. You don't have to always listen to it, but when you go to listen to music, this is the song. What is it? I'd probably say Imagine by John Lennon. Yeah. What number am I thinking of? Nine. No. Damn it. <laughs> Describe the rest of your life in five words. Family, friends, work, service, joy. Matt Damon, congratulations. You are fully known. <laughs> Thank you. Kiss the Future is in theaters now and on Paramount Plus later this year. Matt Damon, everybody. We'll be right back.